wait if you are a beginner make sure you grab the principles of house conduit pipe because it will give you a better insight of house electrical conduit pipe let me firstly appreciate those of you my followers who had been watching from far and near thank you so much for your support in fact i appreciate your support so much if you are new to this channel you are welcome and if you find our videos interesting please you can hit the like button share for others to see what you are doing you can also subscribe for more interesting videos on the way today we are looking at how to run the electrical conduit piping of a staircase if you are interested join me on this journey and do not skip any part of this demonstration before we jump into electrical conduit piping of a staircase i wish to acquaint you with some things you need to be aware of number one is in electrical conduit piping you should have a picture of both how the conduit pipes should be run from your working drawing and also a picture of how the wires should be connected in your conduit piping during the wiring number two the electrical conduit piping of a house had same principle with that of plumbing piping now let's look at plumbing piping of a particular building in the piping of a building talking about the plumbing we have the supply the supply that supplies water to every part of the bathroom or toilet if you like now there is an overhead tank this overhead tank has a control that controls the whole water that flows out of the overhead tank now when you own the overhead tank's control water will not come into the building it will not enter the building except you go into different apartments and start owning the controls differently the similarities between the piping of the plumbing line in the building and that of an electric conduit piping is that if for instance you want to tap water from an existing pipeline in a building maybe you want to put a tap in a compound now the tap you are tapping the water you are tapping from the existing water pipeline what you need to do is to consider putting a control this control is going to take care of the new line that you are creating so that the new line you are creating will have a valve that will on water or off the supply of water so in electrical for instance you want to do the piping of a staircase and there is a circuit that is closest to your staircase all you need to do is to locate a switch this switch is going to do two work the work of this switch is firstly to collect mains from the nearest uh, switch then when you collect mains the mains will come to that switch the switch that will take care of your uh, staircase lighting point whether the lighting point is one or two or three now when you locate your switch you now from that your new switch locate the lighting point so if you want a point of light before you get to the staircase you start climbing the staircase you have a, a point of light it will go to that switch that is a one branch then if you want another point of light to be at the wall facing the staircase you also have another point of light these two points of light will be controlled by your switch that is the similarities now let's go straight to our demonstration so in this demonstration i try to use these different sketches to show us that if you want to run the piping the electrical conduit piping of your staircase it is very simple all you need to do is to take from the closest circuit connect to your switch the switch that will take care of your staircase from there, you can connect to the lighting points that will light the staircase, either up there or under the staircase. For instance, you want to use here as a mini stop where you pack one or two things. You put a little door, a small door there, and uh, make use of the uh, staircase. For instance, you can have something like this, and this is a small door, you know. So, all you need to do is to put a lighting point there that will take care of the bottom of the staircase. Then from, from, your, from your circuit, the circuit closest to the staircase, locate a switch. 
where it will be accessible for anybody that is climbing up the staircase. Then from there, you take another branch, either through the wall, you crack the wall and hide your conduit pipe in there. The wall facing the staircase, the wall facing the staircase can actually have a lighting point here. Can have a lighting point. This lighting point here will illuminate the staircase. The staircase will have light and there could be light also before you get to this switch or at this switch you can light this particular light here you can on it so that you see the staircase before climbing so this switch here can be two guns or three guns so that when you light this one you light that one there then you light this so that the whole staircase will, be, will have illumination and you'll be able to climb the staircase comfortably without having any problem. In most cases, we we'll put chandeliers. The chandelier can be on top there. Talking about the ground floor now, so when you get to the first floor, you can have a switch here that will take care of the chandelier. And remember, what we've just done here, making use of the circuit piping of the ground floor. Then up there, by the time you get up there, the circuit, the piping or the conduit piping at the upper floor will take care of the chandelier. I've come to the end of this video. If you know you like what we are doing, you have not yet liked what we are doing or even subscribe, please do that. Like what we are doing, share with other people so that they can see what we are doing here and do where to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our updates.